perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. Now, of course, like anyone who even has half a brain, <laughs> do I trust Glenn Beck? Of course not. In my humble opinion, he's a scumbag. However, I don't have to trust Glenn Beck because I can think critically. I can think rationally. I have this little thing called objectivity. Only my opinions are subjective and I can state my opinion as opinion and differentiate between opinion and fact. So, the facts I see about this video that I can see, and if you guys want to point out your observations on it, maybe I missed something, cool, whatever, I'm welcome to any feedback. But here's my observations about this. Other than, obviously, Beck is <laughs> a rat jumping a sinking ship and saving his own ass. Um, beyond that, I can't really see any deception about this video. Um, he's stating the things that, well, he used to mock and um, most of us have known about what he's about to speak of here for a very long time so for most of us this isn't going to be news this is going to be you know same shit different day the sky is blue yeah and so what but the important thing is is that it's glenn beck saying it you know mainstream hypnotic puppet beck who, you know, I can tell he's had some sort of a wake-up call or another. It's probably nasty. Because you gotta realize, people like Beck, they're not in on the inside with the Illuminati. They're puppets. They're blinded by their own arrogance. They believe their own bullshit even more than the most dumb asleep sheep, you know, can blindly sit there watching TV hypnotized and, you know, believe any of this garbage. So, all Glenn Beck is saying in this video, he's admitting that, you know, DC is run by a criminal cabal. Both um, Republicans and Democrats are criminal and can't be trusted, and he's pleading with the American people to wake up and uh, do something about it and you know he's also quickly addresses the gun issue <laughs> but I mean you know he's not saying anything new granted for most of us this is you know same shit different day blah blah so what you know and that's cool but you know objectivity will state that you know on the sort of news media he broadcasts on for and within, and as arrogant of a son of a bitch as he is, I mean, you're looking at some statistical improbabilities here. I mean, even if this were to be nothing but, you know, only him trying to save his own ass, I really don't think he, he gives a crap about anybody. I think he barely gives a crap about himself, barely, just enough to have a self-preservation instinct. Which is what I think is kicking in here. I think he's not nearly as enlightened as a lot of people think he is. I think he's getting a lot of really harsh, disturbing wake-up calls to the truth. I think that his ego is being highly offended right now, and he's forced to face that. And he's forced to see that he's been full of crap on a lot of things and blinded by his own arrogance. So yeah, I mean, he's kind of in a bit of a, a rage within himself at the moment. And that's how most people are when they wake up. I mean, just because Glenn Beck is Mr. Big Shot on the TV doesn't mean he's awakened and enlightened and therefore ooh he's on the inside of the illuminati plot and he's working with them towards our demise muhaha evil glenn beck he's dark lord of the sith no 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 he's he's a bigger fool than all of us 
and he's a fool waking up late, real late. And, you know, you can tell that he realizes he's waking up late. And you can tell that he realizes that there's a lot he doesn't know. So, based on that alone, I would suggest taking the video very seriously. Not him very seriously. You should take him about as seriously as a fucking clown convention. I'm saying take the video, the message, ignore the messenger. Look at this objectively. Look at the fact that Glenn Beck starting to get up and say what he's saying is unprecedented. Yes, he's a rat jumping a sink sinking ship. He can't be trusted as far as you can throw him. He's got his own motives, so on and so forth. I agree with all that. Ignore the messenger. Look at the message objectively. Look at the medium that it's being broadcast through. And you know what I mean? This is highly unprecedented for this to happen. And, you know, of course, there's a lot of so-called truthers that are like, Oh, well, don't believe anything the news media says because it, it's full of lies. Okay, yeah, it's full of lies, but lies are sprinkled with a little bit of truth. And even truthers are blinded by their own arrogance. I see it all the time. All these different truther movements and groups and whatever, they all have a little piece of the puzzle. And they think they have the whole thing. And they arrogantly get on their high horse and they fight each other. Divide and conquer. You know, the, the truthers are helping the globalists just as much as any of the news media or anybody else. Because they're oblivious in a completely different way. They're filled with their own arrogance in a completely different way. And a lot of them live for the battle. A lot of them are making their money on the battle. I mean, a lot of these truthers, whether they realize it or not, I mean, this, you know, this might be purely subconscious and they don't even realize that they're thinking on this level. But a lot of these truthers, I think, want to perpetuate the battle indefinitely because it's lucrative. You know, God help them if all of a sudden humanity wakes up fully and we take responsibility and put an end to the problems and my god now there's no enemy to rage against whatever will they do so you know there's a lot of so-called truthers that it's in their vested interest to keep the battle going so of course they're gonna see enemies everywhere and it's time to stop seeing enemies everywhere and just look at the facts Whoever's doing whatever shady thing, fine. It's just a fact that whoever's doing whatever shady thing is doing whatever shady thing. So the fuck what, you know? It's just, it's a fact. Yes, and cars have engines. It's a fact, okay. Goody, goody. We need to stop focusing on the messengers, get off our own high horses, otherwise we're just serving our masters, the elites, for as long as we're on our high horses and getting outraged and offended. It's what they want us to do, divide and conquer, pitting us against each other. It's how Hitler divided the people in Germany. And, you know, all these truthers, I'm being bold here, I mean, it's taken a lot of bravery for me to start speaking like this. All you truthers who are gonna be all adversarial and fight each other and bicker and bitch can go fuck themselves. Fuck you hypocrites. That's not unity. That's not defeating the Illuminati. That's not making this world a better place. That is going right along with all the agendas. Agenda 21 and any other agenda you can think of. You are a part of the fucking problem. Okay? Any of you so-called fucking truthers who are about dividing people and attacking people, that's what the arrogant police state cops do in the name of justice and goodness and yeah, whatever. You know, even most of you in the truth movement are hypocrites. Fucking deal with it. I'm getting in your face right now, okay? You're all fucking hypocrites. And once upon a time, so was I. Yep, I was yet another one of those who was all out to fight the good fight. Oh yeah, get my ego revved up and my fucking adrenaline flowing. Let's fight the bad guys. Ah, oh, feels good to fight the bad guys. Captain America. You know, let's make peace 
peace through war, same fucked up mentality that we're supposedly uh, fighting against, right? Well, you know, Mother Teresa once said, I won't come to an anti-war rally, but if you ever have a pro-peace rally, invite me. We need to focus on solutions, not the fucking problem. So yes, Glenn Beck is a scumbag. Good for him. I'm sure there's a special place in hell for him, and he'll deal with that later. Whatever. That's not our fucking problem. We need to stop focusing on fucking problems and start focusing on solutions. Yeah. So this is my little disclaimer before Glenn Beck's video, because I know a lot of you fucking truther, fucking hostile idiots are going to be like, oh, well that's Glenn Beck and that's mainstream and he's a liar and we can't trust him. I'm not asking you to trust him. I'm asking you to get off your egoic fucking horse, trust your intuition, trust your objectivity, and look at the message, not the messenger. Because, you know, that's how Hitler and all these other Nazis and modern-day Nazis hide knowledge from us. They get some asshole that we hate up there to speak the truth. And because we hate the messenger, we reject the message. It makes us idiots. It makes us easy to manipulate. We've been fools, okay? I'm, I'm not preaching this out of hate or anything. I'm not trying to say you should or shouldn't believe me. I mean, if you get mad at me right here, cool. Probably means part of what I'm saying is sinking in. Maybe you're waking up a little. You think I'm stupid or crazy or an asshole or whatever? More power to you. I respect your right to think what you think, and you should scream whatever that is as loud as you can from the highest fucking mountaintop because that's your sovereign right, and that's the difference between me and you. I'm not going to look down on you like you're some horrible criminal just because you're as fucking stupid as I used to be and naive as I used to be and all focused on hate and on the battle and ooh, get the bad guy. I'm not going to judge you for that, otherwise I'd be as big of a hypocrite as you are because I used to be as big a hypocrite as you are. So, needless to say, I'm going to start up the video now. So we're going to move out of audio mode here. I'm going to start up the video with Glenn Beck. So, yeah, um, all you haters, feel free to hate. I respect your right. Um, just know that it's pretty ridiculous, because uh, if you're going to say, oh, Glenn Beck's a fucker, guess what? I agree with you. He's a fucker. Now get over it and get over yourself and look at things more objectively and rationally. Roll tape. America. I am a imperfect um, messenger for this. You can call me what you want. You can say I, I hate the president or what, whatever. It doesn't matter. I just want you to listen here for just a few minutes and I'm going to show you some videotape. And I'm going to tell you about the big bad Republicans here. The Republicans, as well as the Democrats, are dragging us into another war. Your government is using your name and they are sucking you into the, into the Middle East again. And only 15% of Americans think that's a good idea. 11% think we should send arms to the Syrians. But those numbers don't come with any information. Those numbers will be much, much lower if you show this to your friend. I want to warn you, what I'm going to show you is extremely graphic, but please send this along. A friend sent this to you. Please send it to another friend. This is a very graphic video of Commander Abu Sakar. He is in this video. He has just killed a Syrian um, military member. This is a rebel that is now cutting the chest open of that Syrian. He takes out his liver and his heart. And to show you what's going to happen to all of his enemies, the commander, eats it. The dead soldier on the ground is the enemy of the guy we are now arming. This president and the Republicans, it's the Democrats and the Republicans, the progressives, trust this demented terrorist with weapons. Yet the same people want to take guns out of your hands because they don't trust you, but I digress. This is, in such, this is such a warning sign that we are on the wrong side that even Vladimir Putin 
sounds sane compared to the progressive Republicans and the progressive Democrats in Washington, including our president. Listen to what uh, President Putin just said. I believe you will not deny the fact that uh, one hardly should back those who kills their enemies and uh, you know, eat their organs uh, and all that is filmed and shot. Do you want to support these people? Do you want to supply arms to these people? Okay. America, I, I, I am, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. We have to put down our partisan politics. We have to stop. When Vladimir Putin is making the case to the American people, do you want to give guns to the people who are eating the heart and liver out of their enemies? It's a no-brainer. We must stop the people in Washington. We've got to stop intervening in the wars in the Middle East. I hate this, sounds awful, but if they're gonna kill each other, let them kill each other. We will not survive this. Please, stop the back and forth of the Republicans and Democrats. Our children and our country are at stake at this point.